Okay, in this quick video we're going to talk about setting up your webhook from Stripe to your website. And what a webhook is, is it's basically the Stripe payment system talking to your application. So let's say that somebody signs up for $9 a month and they are able to access your site and then next month their credit card doesn't go through. Well, our app needs to know about that. It needs to know so that way once they try and log in, then it says, whoops, it looks like that we weren't able to charge your account. You know, would you like to reactivate your account and update your credit card info? So we need a way for our systems to talk to each other. And we can easily do that by going to our Stripe account. And then we can go to account settings. And inside here, we see a button that says webhooks. So what we want to do is add a new endpoint. And right now we can make this test mode, but you'll probably also want to add a live mode once you're in live mode. And we'll want to enter the URL. So this is going to be our URL that we enter in here. So test.hellovideoapp.com. And then that's going to be slash stripe slash webhook. So whatever your URL is, it's gonna be that URL slash stripe slash webhook. And then what we can do is we could send me all events. We could just create an endpoint here and then what we want to do is test this endpoint out. We want to make sure that it is able to talk to our application. So what we can do from here is we can click on start test webhook and it is going to test this webhook that it's able to talk to our application. So let's go ahead and click on send a test webhook and you'll get a message here that says test webhook sent successfully. So that means that Stripe is now able to talk to our website. So whenever somebody's credit card doesn't go through, it is automatically going to uh, send a notification to our application. It's going to cancel that person's account. So that way then they're not able to access uh, their subscriber or their profile because they need to update their credit card info. So just like that, it's very simple. And uh, then the users won't, will not be able to log in if their credit card fails. So. If you have any questions about this, then uh, please feel free to post it in the knowledge base or ask us and we will, would love to help out.